Third grade men, third grade men, does what a third grade man can. Can he make a comic feat? Yes, he can. He just did. Watch now a video from Grey Man. A video from Grey Man. Grey Maniacs gather. It's time for another one of my bloggy bloggy blog blogs. Number 301. Wow. Ooh wee. That's a big number, isn't it? Impressive. <laughs> oh dear. Right then, so we're going through box 25 now. We've started on a new box, box number 25. It's uh, more, for me, slightly modern stuff. It's 2006, so it's not that modern, but compared to what I like to try and collect, which I collect what I collect nowadays, this is from when I was still buying regular. So, Uncle Sam and the Freedom Fighters. So you've got Phantom Lady, I think Human Bomb. Oh, what's the little guy called? Um, the the doll, doll Man. Doll Man, I'm pretty sure. There you go. From the pages of Brave New World, apparently. Number two. Oh, the Ray. The Ray is also a member of the, uh, that's the, the shiny guy there, the Ray. Oh, Black Condor, I believe, as well. Yeah. He's not on this cover yet, but here he comes in the next cover. Enter Black Condor. I promise you, I remembered Black Condor as a part of the team before I saw this cover. <laughs> My brain kicked in just before I saw this cover. Why would I lie? <laughs> I can't say I remember this this story being particularly uh, memorable. I think this is, might have been set in an alternate uh, dimension where the Nazis won World War Two or something like that. I'm not too sure now. It's uh, that kind of premise, or they have some kind of fascistic state uh, in place. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam needs you. Oh, I say. Oof. So, I was just impressed by Phantom Ladies. She's got a lot of front. Let's, let's put it that way. She's got a lot of front. Oh, Phantom Lady. Nothing Phantom about those, I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo -hoo. She puts the boo, boo in Phantom. Yeah, because ghosts go boo and boo. Ooh, <clears throat> Yeah, yes. Sorry about that, ladies and uh, and gents uh, and and people who don't favour really bad puns that made no sense. But uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm not sure who that lady in red is there. I'm not sure who she is or him particularly. Hmm. The human bomb, phantom lady, doll man. The Ray, Black Condor, Uncle Sam. I wonder if there's, a, wonder if there's a, um, no. I thought maybe there might be like a, a team list. Sometimes you get a team list. Uncle Sam's a bit daft, isn't he? Living embodiment. A living embodiment, man. You got uh, it's like if you're gonna give me a patriotic hero, I think Captain America's. You know, as much as I love DC, <laughs> I think Captain America's better. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. He's just one of these very old characters, isn't he? So it's good to have a bit of respect for the old characters, even if they are a little bit hokey. Alright, next thing in this box. Countdown to Adventure, an eight-parter. The Space Adventurers from 52 Returns. You've got Animal Man, Forerunner, Starfire, and Adam Strange. I only remembered her name because it's on here. But I did see, I did look at one of my comics in the last box, said the, the origin of the first appearance of Forerunner or something like that. Forerunner versus J. Alexis. <laughs> I guess there's an alternate world where uh, the JLA are fascists. Uh, 
Hmm. Kill, 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 kill. Look at that. Making sure that little girl is cared for. You know, nurturing her. Protecting her. <laughs> Forerunner versus magic. Animal Man, wild in San Diego. I think he started being able to tune into animals outside of the earth. So he started becoming um, able to channel animal powers like any animal in the universe, in the, in the solar system or something like that. Right, under the spell of Lady Sticks. Does that maybe Adam Strange versus Adam Strange? Or is it just another um, Ran, 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 Ron, that's it, Ran. Ranian Trooper. Or is it him fighting himself? Ooh, this one's got some damage. This one got wet at some point. And uh, yeah, it's uh, messed up the cover. Right over her face. The Savage Forerunner. Oh, and finally, number eight. Yeah. I don't know if that Forerunner's still been used recently at all or anything, I've no idea. Adam Strange, been going for a long old time. Anyway, it was a really one, weird one to have in his team. I don't know why, he, it, uh, to me, it, it smacked of like they were trying to, they was like, well, we've got Animal Man, what can we do with him? Uh, I don't know, let's just put him randomly in space. <laughs> and because that way they can, they had the whole thing of getting him home because um, he's got a wife and kids at home, hasn't he, on Earth? And that was his whole, his whole thing was he wanted to get home to his wife and kids. So they had that whole human angle. Right, an eight part Suicide Squad from the Ashes. With uh, the original writer, Ostrander. Lost in Skataris. I think that's where, um, um, what's his name? Warlord, is it Warlord? Not a character I ever read, to be honest. Uh, Dangerous Allies. It's the guy from the Jihad. I think he ended up being in... What was his name? Rustam. Rustam. Wow. Come on. That deserves a comment. His name's Rustam, I'm sure it is. Deserves a comment just for remembering that. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Captain Boomerang. Uh, I don't know who's holding the gun at the top there. It could be uh, Flag, maybe. Ah, Suicide Squad, face off. It's the um, the Shaggy Man that shaved. It's the shaved Shaggy Man giving, uh, giving a big smile to Amanda Waller, who's uh, she's supremely confident, isn't she? I wonder how much he hides there. I, might, I wonder how much he's really like uh, uh, guts again, uh, legs again, blah, 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 like that. But she's just like too much of a tough cow. So she's like, I'm not going to show weakness because um, the Shaggy Man had the brain of a general, General Eiling. I think it was General Eiling's brain went into the Shaggy Man, Shaggy Man, and General Eiling was the guy who was like a um, protagonist against Captain Atom, I believe. I think he was the one who was who was running the experiment that ends up. In the in the Marvel universe, get sorry in the Marvel universe in the DC universe rather than the chart in original uh, Captain Atom was how he got his powers is to do with that General Eiling I'm sure it was, and he ends up putting his brain into the Shaggy Man. Yeah. Suicide so Squad. The squad's all here. So we've got Cat, Count Vertigo, Bronze Tiger, Plastique, Chemo, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang. There's a couple on there. I don't know who they are. 
So they're probably the ones that get killed. Plastique was a uh, one time love interest for um, Captain Atom. I know uh, Ranger Sly is not a fan of Plastique. I remember having a conversation with him before about it. <laughs> I think she's from Quebec and she was a little bit um, stereotype, stroke, um, not very well reasoned out kind of character. <laughs> Okay, unfriendly fire, that's the last part. And there you go. Oh, it's been a while since I've read it, so I don't really know much about it. So this is this next one is rather annoying. It's the rise of Arsenal. I don't appear to have number one. I've no idea why I don't seem to have number one. I should have number one. But no, it's not, I've got number two. I think this was after he um, had a big breakdown after his daughter gets killed. Has he got his arm missing in this one? Yeah, he's got a new mechanical arm. Um, and uh, yeah, the daughter was killed and that's the woman, that's Cheshire, the, the mother of Leanne who got killed. Although she, he always looked after her. I don't know why he looked after her rather than, um, rather than Cheshire, but it was always him that looked after her. And she ends up getting killed. And uh, yeah, he fell apart. Yeah, he, and his arm ripped off as well by Prometheus. Was it Prometheus? Yeah, that is his name, right? Prometheus. I think it's Prometheus. Yeah. Anyway, for some reason, I haven't got part one of that. It's rather jarring. I'm sure that I had it. Right, number three. And number four. Yeah, just another bloody... I know he's been... That's one of the reasons I sort of stopped buying comics is that they, just, they, they cheapen, like, death by cleaning off, you know, characters all the time. You know, just to... Just to I don't know. Just plot devices or whatever. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, it just got on my nerves. <laughs> but now this is another weird I've got like Batman and Doc Savage special number one one shot I don't know if this was my comic shop muck and bow but I've only got one issue of Batman Odyssey from 2010 but uh, it may have been that they never told me about it I didn't know about it so I never ordered it but so I ended up with number two and that's it, a ten, a twelve issue miniseries, and I end up just with one comic, number two. <laughs> Is this the one that was, yeah, written by Neil Adams? And a lot of people said it was absolutely horrendous. A lot of people really, really slated uh, his writing, and the, just the way, although it's a character that he's drawn so well over the years, his writing on it, people were not were not best pleased with. Okay, so the last one I'm going to go through today is Salvation Run, uh, seven-parter. All the criminals from the DC Universe, or D the world, the Earth from DC, in the DC Universe, were um, teleported to a, an alien planet. I don't know who, who did that. I don't know what branch of government allowed that to happen and, and what justification or even what jurisdiction they were able to do that. But, um, yeah, there was all on a, a planet for a while. And uh, being criminals, it all descended into chaos and all-out war. And, yeah. Yeah, Joker on one side and Lex Luthor on the other side. Trying to organise factions. Who would get behind Joker? Only the, the real psychopaths and lunatics would get behind Joker, surely. I think I'd try and get behind a bona fide genius, at least. I mean, he's an evil bastard as well, and it, it would kill you just as soon as look at you at some, at some points. But 
here's a riff on the old uh, battle, uh, Planet of the Apes. Rather than ape shall not kill ape, it's ape shall kill ape. And Gorilla Grodd basically kills, well, I think he actually kills Mr. Muller. Uh, bludges him to death with, with uh, the brain. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's happened. He bludges him to, with brain and throws him over a cliff. So it was like, way, ouch. That was a bit, that was rather strong. Oh. I sent them to a place called Hell Planet. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Youch. <laughs> sorry, sorry about this. Yeah, he bludges Mr. Muller to death with, with the brain. Yeah. But it got very weird. The the Brotherhood of Evil, what are they called? Brotherhood of Evil? The Masters of Evil? And, and I don't know when that became a thing, but suddenly the ape man, Mr. Muller, 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 something like that, Monsieur Muller, something like that, was in love with the brain, and the brain was in love with Monsieur Muller. I know that, I mean, he was a brain in a, in a jar forever. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go there. Uh, right, still carrying on with Salvation Run. But so I don't know when that was decided. When they decided that was a thing all of a sudden. Uh, but yeah, they did. They did decide it. And uh, yeah. It was it was strange. Right, the Joker Lufa War. Alright, part seven of seven. The final sacrifice. Blood on his hands. Bit of a play on the... Uh, the Green Lantern cover, so he's not wearing any Green Lantern rings. It's a similar kind of pose, isn't it? Salvation run. There you go. That'll do for today. That's enough comics for today. It's a long enough video. Oh, cheers for watching. Oh, I should be having a chat with Biggie Shack on my channel about comic memories tonight. Uh, he's not messaged me back. I've, I've I've sent him the link, but he's not sort of said, "Oh yeah, look for you know." Not come back and said, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm in bow. I'll be there or anything like that." So we'll see if it happens or not. Probably will do. Uh, if not, maybe I'll get him another time. But uh, yeah, I'm out of here then. And uh, I've got a small channel. Was it C H J Comics or C H J Collectibles? CHJ, something or other. Yeah, he's only got like 44 subs or something like that, I think. And uh, yeah, go sub him up if you're not subbed to him already. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I was going to say he's not worth me giving shout outs because there's not many people watching my, my channel to, to go and like another channel. It's not like I've got any kind of influence of, you know, getting people to go and like other channels because I haven't got enough people watching this channel to even make it worth the effort. Of telling people to go and sub up other channels, but you know, I, I can I can only do what I can do. So yeah, go sub up CHJ if you're not already. I'll leave his link down below and in the corner, and I do my little jingle tingle at the end. Uh, be back tomorrow for bloggy 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 blog three hundred and two. Wow! Until that time, I hope you all have a great amazing day, and I wish oh how I wish that all your news will be good news. <sighs> Still got a bit of snotty nose. And a sore throat. CHJ Unlimited, go and sub him today. CHJ, I say CHJ Unlimited, go and sub him today. CHJ, go and sub him today.